Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 94. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 93 to 96. Hey, trick number 94 here. This YouTuber said, hey, they love that keyboard shortcut, Control Shift with an arrow. So I want to look at eight examples of how to use this trick. Now, what in the world is Control Shift uh, Down Arrow? Well, I've used this basically almost in every video, uh, at least many, many of them. Let's click in this cell right here, and what happens if we just Control Down Arrow? Notice it jumps to bottom of the current range. If I Control Up Arrow, it goes to the top. If I hold Shift instead, it will highlight everything. So one use of Control Shift Arrow is to highlight a range. Control Shift Down Arrow. And then I could copy, say, click here and paste. So it's a nice way to highlight. Another use of Control Shift, I'm going to click Escape. Another use of Control Shift down arrow is when you are entering arguments into a function. So I'm going to Alt equals, which is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. And with that cell selected, I'm going to Control Shift down arrow. That keyboard shortcut right there when I do workshops probably gets the most oohs and ahs because all of us have know that we've scrolled down way, way down, and then gone too far, and then shot back up. So that's a great keyboard shortcut, Enter. Another use is if you have some data this way. Now let's say you wanted to keep 1, 2, 3, 4, but you want to delete everything that way. Now you don't want to have to um, uh, Now another use for control shift arrow is to highlight a range and then replace it. So I see I have these ones here and I just want to quickly highlight them and then replace them with a number two. So with that cell I'm going to control shift and now I'm going to use my right arrow. And then I'm going to I've highlighted a bunch of cells. So to populate all the cells with the same thing, the number two, I type two and then control enter. So that was uh, control shift arrow to highlight a range and then replace everything in that range. Here's another example. Let's say I have these uh, numbers here, and I want to delete everything to the right. Now, this goes way out there, so I don't want to click and drag my cursor like this. I just want to click here, Control Shift Right Arrow, and then I could hit the Delete key, or I could hit the Clear key. Because say I wanted to delete the content and clear the format. Now, in 2000 and uh, 7, you go to home, and then there's an eraser over here, and you say clear all or clear formats. I'm going to say clear all. Uh, in 2003, it's edit, clear, clear all. And the keyboard shortcut that works uh, both in 2007 and 2003 is Alt EAA. And that gets rid of everything, including the formatting. So that's using the Control Shift to delete or clear. Now, let's look at a, a variation on this. We can use Control Shift, and instead of an arrow, we, if we have our cursor right there and we want to highlight everything to A1, hold Control Shift and then hit Home because Control Home sends your cursor to A1. So if you're holding Shift, boom, it highlights, and then you could do something like uh, Alt E A A and delete it all. If you want to delete all the way to cell A1, I'm going to Control Z. Another <coughs> trick: instead of Control Shift arrow or Home, you can use Control Shift. End. Now let's try Control End by itself. Control End goes to the last cell that you've used. Now that was the last cell. That's way out there. I'm going to Control Home to zoom back to the top. If you hold Shift, Control Shift End, that highlights all the cells that you've ever used. Then you could clear by going Alt E A A. Oops, that's terrible. I deleted everything. I'm going to Control Z. So control arrows work, I mean control shift arrows work, but also control shift home and control shift n. Now let's look at um, another use. <clears throat> this may surprise um, some people. I'm going to put uh, this into edit mode. And sometimes for formulas, edit mode is F2. Sometimes in formulas, you want to highlight all the way from a certain point in your formula to the beginning. Well, it works in edit mode, too. Try Control Shift Home, and it goes all the way to beginning. Now try Control Shift End. I'm going to click Escape so it works in edit mode, too. Another amazing use for uh, this Control Shift arrow 
is when you have a chart. And you can see here I have the chart highlighted. And back here I have the uh, x and the uh, p of x. We have our x y values and our y values. But I want to add this new um, data series here. Now, so I could click on the chart, right click, select data. And I want to click Add. In 2003, it's in the Chart Wizard Step 2. There's an Add button. I'm going to click Add, and it says, where is the name? I'm going to click right there. And then very carefully, where the values are. I'm going to highlight that. That's a little array with the number 1 and hit Delete. And now the problem is I can't highlight. I can't get to my range. But I can click in that top cell, see that right there, and Control Shift Down Arrow. I love that trick. You can even see it through the chart that it's highlighting that range. Click OK. And then I'm going to edit the, the uh, category labels here. I'm going to click on that 0, and then Control Shift Down Arrow. Click OK. Click OK. Um, by the way, if you download this, you can see I have this uh, label um, and this formula here all linked to this cell. <clears throat> this is a binomial distribution. So if I change this to 5, then that little uh, chart right there. By the way, the way I got the uh, columns to appear right on top is by right click. Uh, Control 1 is the keyboard shortcut. And then you can uh, series overlap and go all the way to 100%. In 2003, this would be on the Options tab, which is way at the end over here. And then there's the overlap. All right, so that is what I think and what this YouTuber said. I think it's uh, the most amazing keyboard shortcut in Excel. And there's eight uses for it. All right, see you next trick.